This movie is fantastic. I, one of the most emotionally powerful movies I've seen in a long time. Well, that's nice to hear. Yeah. I think it does work. I, I saw it with an audience and, you know, and uh, I got choked up too. So there you go. Yeah, just incredible. And your character is pretty rough around the edges. And he has yeah. such an incredible story. And one of the themes throughout the movie is this idea that we don't have to come to Jesus perfect for him to embrace us, right? We can just come as we are, battered and broken. So how has this reality um, impacted your own life, that there's always grace no matter what we're going through? Oh, yeah. Well, you know, I've been taught from a young age, you know, that, uh, hey, we're flawed, you know, and you're going to make mistakes and, uh, and we're broken and, and we kind of need, we need help. And uh, uh, usually the best way to get help is to ask for it. And well, who are we asking? Well, we're asking something better than us. Yeah. And the minute you acknowledge that there is something better than you, you might get something that resembles humility, which is uh, really the key to the whole thing. Because uh, in this day and age, it's easy to sort of, you know, being, be, you know, live in your ego and, uh, which is, uh, which is kind of what this film's about. It's about a guy who, who was living in his ego and uh, uh, managed to sort of make that leap of faith, if you like, to, to understand uh, that there's something greater than he is, and, and it made him humble. And, and it made him grateful, even in his infirmities. You can't leave this film and not be impacted in some way. I know, like I said, I was very emotionally impacted. How was your own spiritual life influence while making fathers do well it was um you know i was i was kind of being the devil's advocate here in mm -hmm. in the film you know because uh you know i'm the agnostic guy who's like giving him hell for like you know for doing what he's doing and uh you know and 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 the beauty of that is that uh he's eventually won over by the purity of his son you know how how it how it kind of it just it cuts through all the the, you know, the judgmental, you know, the baloney, and it just goes straight to the heart, you know, straight to the soul. And I think, uh, you know, for th th there's a transformation needed in all of us on a daily basis, I might add, you know, I, w I wake up pretty grumpy. And, you know, I got to find ways to, uh, you know, not be that way. So it's, uh, <laughs> it's, it, it's, it's, it's a continuing struggle. Well, I understand that. I really do. You know, you're in so many of these incredible God honoring movies, like of course, the passion of the Christ. Now we've got father stew. What draws you to these kinds of movies that honestly, we don't see a lot in, in Hollywood. Um, I don't know. I just, I think they're compelling. Um, I think I, as, as you say, when I read the screenplay for father stew, cause it didn't sound like it was going to work when I heard it, I thought, eh. but then I, I read the screenplay and it made me laugh. And then it was emotionally very effective. And, and I think uh, uh, very expertly penned and directed by the, by the director. Uh, first time she did that. Uh, amazing. Um, but seems very competent in, in a field that she hadn't really practically uh, explored before. And, and, you know, I don't know. I, you look at a project, uh, you know, by project by project, and this one smelled good and it looked good and it was great. It was funny. And uh, it was a film that wasn't preaching to the choir right. and um, wasn't over saccharine and um, just had a lot of a big splash of reality in it, you know? Yeah. Now, Mel, what encouragement would you give to people who are struggling to stand firm for their faith in a society that doesn't always support us? Well, you know, it's, it's, it's hard, you know, you're told you got to, you know, stick by your convictions, you know, it's a, uh, and it's hard to do. Sometimes you're presented with choices or put in places that are very difficult. And some of those choices are hard. And um, I don't know, you, you just have to examine your own conscience and, and take the right road, I think, but, uh, uh, or try not to take this, like, put it this way. There's, there's no right way. There's a million wrong ways. And, and uh, you just have to eliminate uh, those, I think, somehow, or just use your best discernment to get through it. But, you know, it's, 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 it's hard, man. Life's hard. But we're all, we're all going. We all got a boulder we're dragging, you know. Yeah. 